to really understand why Regenix is very different. Let's take a look at one of our procedures. What you're about to see your orthopedic surgeon can't do, the guy down the street that does a little bit of ultrasound can't do. So let's take a look at this advanced, precise, guided work. Let's take a look at what interventional orthopedics looks like in the spine. Today, we'll be treating a patient with a low back pain. He actually has a tear in the disc of uh, the L4-5 level. So we'll be actually treating inside of the disc with that tear. So what separates us from other stem cell providers performing intradiscal treatments is that our ability to customize treatment for every patient. For an intradiscal procedure, the patient will need a high concentration of stem cells in a small volume because the disc cannot take a large amount of volume. Since we process our samples via lab by hand, we're able to concentrate our stem cell volumes a lot more than a simple automated bedside machine, which is a one size fits all. And because it's a one size fits all, they tend to have smaller number of stem cells in a higher volume, so it's a lower concentration. Through our advanced lab process, and we're able to isolate uh, on average maybe 20 times more stem cells. We're guiding our needle with fluoroscopy, which is basically live x-ray. So I take a picture, advance the needle, take a picture, advance the needle. Now we're in the disc, we see, clearly see our needle. Uh, we wanna make sure that on the x-ray we can show where our medicine will go. So medicine's invisible on the x-ray, so we're gonna inject contrast dye that shows up on the x-ray to confirm that we're actually inside the disc. We're gonna confirm this with two different views. This is the AP view, looks like it's perfect flow inside the disc. Now we'll obtain a lateral view to confirm that. In the lateral view, this is also diagnostic in which we can see if contrast extravagates into the air of the tear, uh, which is precisely where we want to inject our biologic, and we can grade the level of the disc tear. Now we can see excellent contrast flow within the center of the disc. Now on the normal disc, it should look like the one above, where the contrast stays right in the middle of the disc, making a nice oval. Here we see the contrast extravagate out posteriorly or towards the back or left of your screen. That's due to that angular tear in the disc. Uh, so that'll be the area we're treating. So now we can see that we're precisely where we want to be, and now we're going to inject our biologics. 